more than 29,000 different dietary supplements in the market. Some of them work and the rest you might not need. Today we're going to talk about one of the best selling fat burning supplements in the market. L-carnitine is a chemical compound made in the human body from essential amino acids. It helps the body to turn fat into energy by transporting fatty acids into the mitochondria, which is the powerhouse of the cell. There are many forms for L-carnitine, like Alcar and GPLC, but the one used for fitness research is L-carnitine L-tartarate or LCLT, as it has a faster absorption rate compared to the others. Medically speaking, L-carnitine is possibly effective for chest pain, kidney failure, men infertility, PCOS, the toxicity of valproic acid seems to be linked with L-carnitine deficiency, and lastly, it reduces the risk of death caused by myocarditis, which is an inflammation of the heart in children. You should not take L-carnitine if you are pregnant, breastfeeding, if you have seizures, or if you have an underactive thyroid or hypothyroidism because it interacts with thyroid hormone and decreases its effectiveness. It also interacts with acinocumarol and warfarin, which are both used to slow down blood clotting. It increases their effectiveness and might increase the chances of bruising and bleeding. For its side effects, L-carnitine can cause the urine, breath, and sweat to have a fishy odor in high doses. But that's not the worst thing. It can actually increase TMAO, which is a toxic compound produced by the human gut bacteria. Its production can have a major impact on the development of chronic disease. It's also being used as a medical indicator to help predict the risk of heart attack, stroke, and death. So let's put all that aside and discuss what does the science say about L-carnitine for fat loss. I've read multiple studies. I'll link the top three down below in the description under the like button. There are mixed opinions about L-carnitine for fat loss. Most of the research say that L-carnitine increases the endurance and time of an exercise and can help with weight loss if taken with proper exercise and diet. But on its own, without exercise and diet, it doesn't have any effect for weight loss or fat burning. So in conclusion, your body produces the amount it needs from L-carnitine by itself without the need of supplementing with it. You don't have to supplement with L-carnitine if you don't have L-carnitine deficiency. That's up to you if you want to do that, but I don't recommend it. Don't waste your time and money with that. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, comment down below what do you want to know about next, and I'll see you in the next one.